hi guys welcome back to my channel step campus so in this video we are going to talk about enable and disable button in nightwatch js okay so this will be going to be lecture 13 okay so previously we have captured class 12 till uh, starting from the scratch to the assert part so you can watch that videos and you can quite confident with the nightwatch js okay so let's get start guys so for checking the enable and disable uh, i used to uh, i am going to use this website okay so so if you click the uh, if you refer uh, if you click this uh, website for the first time so you are going to see this button okay submit button so you can't click on this submit button because at this time at this moment it is uh, disabled okay so we are going to check it uh, it's a enable or disable and if you see here clearly so if i write something like step campus and any text now step so this button is now enabled okay so we are going to check this part so let's get started guys so i will copy this one okay go to the code editor okay and inside the test folder just create a new file and give it enable uh, hyphen not hyphen underscore disable and dot js don't forget to add at the last okay it is very necessary because we are using a javascript code with nightwatch okay so this time i won't uh, write a code from the scratch okay uh, as of now i'm just writing this tml uh, this uh, http link okay because we are going to use that one right so i'm just copying this one okay from the previous lecture and i will paste here and now we will remove this url with our required url okay just paste it okay just save it and run for the first time to see like uh, we are able to open this website or not okay so for this one we have to go to command prompt in command prompt we have to give our enable slash disable dot js okay and then run it so when you run it so it will open that website okay and then we will see the further process okay some kind of error we got what type of error we got i thought we have added some more thing let's see in the code anything oh sorry see we have added right we have added the code from the previous but this uh, braces we didn't close it okay just don't forget these things for learning process is fine but yeah when writing the code you should check these things okay yeah now it will run it okay just see so this is a basic simple uh, uh, code we have written to open the url only okay yeah that's it so we are opening this url okay now you can see there are no any assertion we have used now we will use the assertion to check whether this element is present or not so first of all when you open the for the first time it won't be present right so go to the inspect part control shift i or right click inspect any options you can choose to go through this one okay now we have to check this button okay just right click uh, inspect already there sorry uh, we have to copy this one copy copy selector okay just go to the code yes uh, here we will write like uh, browser okay uh, before writing the code i will tell you one more thing see uh, we can do this enable and disable with the help of asset and expect both right which we have seen in the previous lecture for element and text but the one thing is uh, i have to tell you like uh, disable part we can do with the help of asset but there is no any property to check a enable part from the assert one okay so we are using only expect in this tutorials okay because from the expect you can do a whether enable and disable okay both you can check but asset you can only check the disable not the enable part because they have no any property okay so let's get started um, browser dot expect dot element okay what element we are expecting just give inside this course okay and then we are going to see dot not be enabled okay and give some pause give some pause what we are checking now we are saying to command that this element not be enabled for the first time when we are running the browser let's go to the code again sorry command prompt again and run it okay so you can see the tick here it means the assertion is passed now okay assertion one assertion passed okay 
so we have checked okay now we go to the browser again now what we will do now we will inspect this element okay inspect okay just right click copy copy selector go there okay and we will set the value first browser dot set to value okay where to set in this locator what text set value will take two command okay the first what is the locator and what value we want to give so we want to give step campus for this time don't forget to give the semicolon at the end okay something error yeah uh, we have to put comma not dot okay fine and then we will give some pause again okay give some pause again and what we will do now we will copy this whole line of code and paste it again to check it is not be enabled not now this time it will enable so be enabled or to be enabled uh, we can write to be enabled okay this time it should be enabled go there or just run it it is running okay okay it is opening okay for first expect it is fine that is not enabled now we have to give this value you can see the value is passed there and it will yes correct okay yeah you can see now it is saying like two assertion has passed means before it is not enabled but when we give the step campus on the text value then this button is enabled as i showed you previous and then we are checking it to be enabled so it is saying it is pass okay that's correct so guys this is the enable and uh, uh, disable part with the help of expect if we can do one more thing here let's see okay i will pause this all the things i will tell you right the assertion is for only disable but we don't have any property to check the enable part so we will check the assert only first okay so right assert uh, browser sorry uh, we are checking uh, enable sorry we are checking disable with the help of assert okay browser uh, browser will be like common okay so driver like in selenium assert okay dot at tree okay attribute attribute okay equals this syntax is you quite some complex also but no need to worry we have already expect we have seen that is easy to uh, easy to use so we are just seeing some for our extra knowledge okay like how to check with the asset also okay so html tag i will copy from here uh, enable or disable part okay just copy this one because i will i have told you for the first time it should be disabled okay and after this one like uh, we have to write we have to write uh, we have given i am disabled uh, sorry i we have given this uh, as i am disabled with a tag okay inside this one we have to check disabled part disabled and comma it should be true what we are expecting right uh, give some browser dot pause so that we can check the result as well okay so what we are doing with this one now so we are checking with the assert like okay this element should be disabled and we are making it true means we are expecting it should be true okay so save it go there and run it let's see the assertion is going to pass or not okay okay it has opened the browser now we are checking yeah you can see in the back end like testing character so it's the session pass so disable part is okay okay as i told you we don't have a we don't have a enable part so let's try with enable also like suppose you are the newer you don't know so you will write like this way right i am disabled and this time it should be enabled right like if i am uh, in place of you also i will write like this way okay enable and this time i am saying that enable should be true okay just save it and run it let's see it is passing or not okay so it has opened the browser one attribute disable is passed now checking with the enable part okay but some of you might will say like how we will check this one because the button is not enabled now so we have to click the button first that is fine that is very good question let add this step here 
okay we are enabling the button first with the giving some text and now we will check this asset very good just run it I know I'm doing very fast but uh, not an issue we will check this one you can pause this video to check uh, one asset disable is passed even okay second we have given this step campus the button is enabled but with the help of uh, asset I have told you we don't have property yep we don't have a property okay night watch SSL error we are getting okay okay expect equals true but element does not have a enable button because SSN have no property to check the enable that's why we are getting this issue okay so fine guys uh, you understand like what I am going to tell you so yeah next video we will see about the verify an asset and then we will wind up this lecture so that's all in this video guys we will see you in the next lecture meanwhile happy learning and just subscribe this channel if you are a new comer and yeah be prepared for the wings one exam thank you so much bye bye